Soon the planets will align and then everything will stay pretty much the same. Sorry, dark wizards. Anthony here for D News, and if you head outside this Sunday, May 26th, and look up in the west after sunset, you will be able to see a triple planetary conjunction. Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus are going to form a triangle, and then if you keep watching at sunset over the following few days, you'll actually watch them appear to dance and move around each other. Super amazing, right? It seems like it would be incredibly rare for three planets to come together that closely, but triple planet conjunctions actually happen every two years. So the last one was in May 2011, and the next one was will be in October of 2015. What's particularly nice about this one is that Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus are the brightest planets viewed from Earth, so you can see the whole event without any special equipment, but you should definitely grab some binoculars or a telescope if you can. So, three planets line up every two years, and the last time four planets were in conjunction was 2002, and the next time we'll see that is in 2040. So, how rare is it for all of our planets to line up? And what happens when they do? A change in gravity, floods, earthquakes, the total flipping of our magnetic poles, the birth of the giant space falcon that will destroy the universe in its talons? Well, for as much as fantasy and ancient cultures like to put significance on planetary alignment, it doesn't actually happen. I mean, at least not a perfect alignment where you can draw a straight line through the center of all eight planets, or nine if you're still in denial about Pluto. See, all the planets rotate around the sun on a different axis. So the more planets you want to consider it aligned, the more you have to be loose with your definition. Having all the planets in anything even close to a rough line takes millions of years. As far as what happens when they do align, the answer is... Not much. See, planets are big, yeah, but they're really far away, and the farther away something is, the less its gravitational pull can affect us. Venus is closest to us, and when it's at its absolute nearest, it's 92 million kilometers away. So you take all the planets, you line them up the closest you can under the best theoretical conditions, and they only add about another 2% to the pull of our tides. And that's only while everything is exactly lined up, so not a big or lasting change. As a matter of fact, on February 4th, 1962, the sun, the moon, the closest six planets in our solar system all aligned within 17 degrees of each other, and we had a solar eclipse, and we're still here spinning. So go forth into the night on Sunday and know that you can watch the conjunction without fear of spinning off into space. But let's all check in on Monday morning over on facebook.com slash dnews just to make sure we're all safe. I'm not a superstitious man, but you never can tell.